find out. for Taurus. Kapali. Tune into the spiritual power within you. It is beyond what society understands and can offer you. It will nourish, protect, and in, or inspire and guide you through any troubles. If your path is diverging from your original plans or is out of sync with those around you, trust in what is happening and know that you are within Kali's care. Chamunda. Knowing what to allow and what to fight for or against requires wisdom. Chamunda is the fearlessness, wisdom, patience, and discipline required to conquer a difficult situation. Chamunda is the power to accomplish what you need and desire. She is with you now. Her presence now portends a truly exceptional breakthrough on your path. Tramanogmo. Okay, wrong one. <laughs> Uh, the spiritual cleansing and protective means necessary to overcome any obstacle shall be granted to you. You can trust in what is happening in your life, especially the things that are breaking apart or rising anew. Any pain that you may, might be experiencing now is so much less than the pain that would have taken root if certain circumstances were allowed to continue. Kaladara when hope is lost and a way forward cannot be sensed, Kali's love will find a way. If the path does not yet exist, then it shall be created. If you cannot see or feel how you can move um, from where you are to where you want to be, Kali's wisdom and grace will manifest at the perfect time to provide what is needed. The Blue Flame. Spontaneous awakening, activation, and integration time. Okay, so you might be experiencing like a spiritual awakening. You might be going through a big shift right now. Um, let's see. Awaken, <clears throat> awaken the Great Stone Dragon. <laughs> uh, just reminded me of the lawn for some reason. Um, all right, so, yeah, let's see, um, current energy for Taurus, what are we experiencing, what's going on? Alright, so let's see, we've got six of wands, seven of wands in reverse, four of wands in reverse, and the empress in reverse. I'm going to pull clarifiers on all these as I read them. Six of wands tells me you're divinely protected for one. 
Um, for two, it's kind of this energy of like divinely protected, right? Like you're being divinely watched over. Let's see, let's clarify six of wands. The sun came out in reverse, but there's no reverse meaning for the sun card. Sun card is inevitable prosperity, abundance, you know, being able to tap into your inner child, feeling very happy, right? Uh, with the queen of pentacles in reverse, so there's like this energy of letting go or not having that or being hyper fixated on money, perhaps. With the sun, oh, very nice. With the uh, <clears throat> sun showing up, you could be dealing with Leo, um, or it could mean that you're so fixated on your outcomes that it's making manifestation a little hard for you. Um, Seven of Wands in reverse tells me that you're not like seeking out like new endeavors or whatever. I want to know why. Why I'm getting opposite energy right from the get-go with the Queen of Pentacles in reverse and the Sun in, in the upright. So, I'm going to double clarify, actually. Um, so in regards to your direction, it's kind of like... Let's see. The Sun card. Clarify that. Okay, yeah, so it definitely looks like it could be a fire sign with the King of Wands showing up with the Sun card, Leo energy. It's a lot of Leo energy, actually. Um, with the King of Wands in reverse, though, it's kind of this energy of feeling like they're not being straight up with you or feeling like they're kind of, like, full of shit on a situation. <clears throat> and with... It's almost like you're at this energy of like dropping something so that you don't have to fight about it because you want to maintain that peace. You want to maintain this image of like everything's fine. Um, with the death card in reverse, also, this is not somebody that you want to cut off or stop being with, right? Um, so it's kind of like being willing to, you know, go through the storm with this person. That's kind of what I'm seeing, even though like... Now you're kind of feeling like, what the fuck? Um, with the Four of Wands in reverse, you feel like there's an aspect of them that just doesn't grow, right? Um, with the Temperance card, more fire energy showing up, Sagittarius energy, even the Empress being Aries energy. This is, there's a lot of fire on this board. Um, and with the temperance here, it's like you've been patient, you've been filling their cup, you've been, you know, doing what you could for them, right? Uh, with the six of swords, it's like feeling like you don't know what more you can do for your situation. Also, it's kind of like wanting to be in control of your own outcomes and kind of tired of like being hit with the unknown, right? You want something tangible, you just want something to work out for you here. With the Empress in reverse, I feel this energy of, like, like the confidence taking a hit here. Because you don't really understand where this is coming from or why. It just kind of seems like they're kind of disconnecting. And if you're dealing with a fire sign, that's a lie. <laughs> just keeping it real with you. You know, they gonna hurt them feelings. Uh... They apparently have. Um, yeah, Page of Cups in the reverse means, like, you're starting to see them in a different light, you know. Um, it's kind of going from, like, seeing them as kind of perfect and not able to do any wrong to seeing them as maybe a little bit more faulty. You know, with the King of Wands in reverse, it's like, you're starting to kind of see another side of them, and I don't think that you like that side, but you're patient, and you love them. And it's like you just want things to kind of stay how they were. 
um, you don't, <laughs> you don't want this shift and how it's shifting. Um, honestly, like, this could be a job, it could be a friendship, but it feels like a relationship, you know? It feels like that. Like, kind of wanting to hold on to things as they were, but as we grow, as we change, as we develop, things change, you know? Things are altered. So, let's see. Queen of Cups in reverse tells me you yourself might emotionally start disconnecting or kind of, like, breaking free. Almost, like, to save your sanity. It's like you don't want to be so emotionally invested that you, like, are devastated by any change, right? Knight of Cups in reverse. It's the same as Page of Cups in reverse. It's kind of like pulling out your emotions. It's this Page of Cups, Knight of Cups, and Queen of Cups all being in reverse. That is a retraction of feelings, right? You're taking your heart back. Nine of Wands in reverse. Not willing to be defeated by love again page of pentacles in reverse not accepting outside offers either queen of swords in reverse we got a lot of queens in reverse and the empress in reverse you're not in your element um at this time it's like you're caught between wanting to save this connection and feeling emotionally compelled to back out of this connection. It's like your fight or flight is starting to kick in and I feel like with the Ace of Swords in reverse, you're trying so hard not to fight. So what's happening is emotionally, you're running away. Right? Even if you, you're you not aware of that, it's like you, you're you not wanting to be defeated by this person, not wanting to be hurt. It's like you're, you're like literally like shutting off your emotional doors and you're like just trying to logic this to death. Um, the moon in reverse. With the King of Wands in reverse, right? I wasn't going to say this until this came out, right? The moon in reverse, for one, I have to say, is also the sun, right? The opposite of the moon is the sun. So we'll bring that to light. Also, the meaning of the moon in the upright is things coming to light. Shedding light on the truth, right? The King of Wands is the King of Truth. Right? Somebody who is being honest with you. Right? Wands is all honest communication. It's that truth energy. King of Wands is in reverse. Okay? The moon is in reverse. There's a truth that is being hidden here. Eight of Cups is in reverse. Saying, but you're not walking away. Intuitively, I feel like you know. You're not walking away. You're like looking for any way to logic this to death so that you don't have to leave this situation. Even though emotionally you get a little more detached every day. It's like you're holding on to this image of what it was or what it could have been. What is it? In the present tense. You know, what is it? If that's what you should be focused on. You know? The gift. I feel like you saw them as a gift. No 
Also, I feel like you're very gifted yourself with your intuition. And I feel like by neglecting your own intuition or denying it or, you know, trying to shove that voice into the back of your head, um, that would be more detrimental to you and yourself in the long run if you try to shut down your higher self for this person. Um, commemoration, it's okay to sit there and think about how things were and it's okay to even want things like how they were. But you need to be realistic and see that they just are not like that. Things are different, things are shifting and I don't know, this this kind of seems like a personal journey. Like, you have to come to accept the truth yourself. But you have to first find the truth, right? What is the truth? And, you know, even if you do learn the truth, there's a chance that you might stay anyway. Because there's a lot of nostalgia, sentimentality here. Like, there's a lot, like, writing on this. It feels like you've just kind of put, placed them on this pedestal in your life. So, leaving them is a lot fucking harder, right? Um, what is meant to be will be what is not, will not. So, que sera, sera. Um, I wish you luck on your journey and I hope that you make the best decision for yourself in any case. Um, namaste, I love you guys and I'll catch you on the next one.